postmodern immigrant, lost and found. Issues. Yeah, what we lose and what we gain, you know, in our journey. My first dreadlocks. <laughs> if you want to. Okay, I will find them. When I arrived in Europe, you know, I had a very big dream, you know. But when I arrived, you know, I was really confronted with myself in the sense of I realized that was the first time in my life I thought I was black. I saw I was black. Yeah, we're well, here. Here they are. Oh, oh I'm this terrible headache. Huh? This is my first pair of shoes, huh? Yeah. Really, when I'm in Europe, this is the first pair of shoes I bought with the first money I earn. Very beautiful shoes. <laughs> Yeah. Can you imagine the M? You know, when I saw the shoes, I said, this is very strong. I can wear these shoes maybe 10 years, and I can save a lot of money. So the money, I, earn, I can put it in my artwork to buy some material and <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, you see, <laughs> now, yeah, really, I, yeah, very nice shoes. <laughs> From the time we get here, you know, a physical health is a huge issue. They give us this blanket to these uh, immigrants when they arrive here. It seems to be a warm gesture when a person, you know, just across the whole ocean with cold, you know, you give them a blanket, of course it's warm. But no guarantee, no warm future is guaranteed. Yeah. And from that time, you know, I, have a, I had a feeling that, you know, it's sort of, yeah, it become a uh, stigmatized material. Because this blanket, you know, no matter how, our, co our community is connected to this, to this blanket, you know, from slavery till now, the immigration. And that's how I use it to turn it into art form and to speak what I, you know, what I'm trying to, to say through my work. It's all kind of object I found. You cannot just imagine. Yeah, this is a kettle, this is a teapot, you know. Well, this, this is a, yeah, this is the favorite for the, how do you say it again, from the harbor, you know. Yeah, this uh, palette. And this, you will not imagine, it's also coffee. You know, it's also coffee. A real coffee, I, I found it somewhere, and I say, okay, I covered this. But with this uh, outsetting line, when the immigrants arrive, the first hand, you see, they see the people totally metamorphosed, you know, one man with the mask and plastic and cloth and take him and undress him and give him new clothes, you know, and put him all kind of period, I mean, of mutation. Take off your clothes, shoot your photo, take your blood, give you new clothes and put you on a... That person, how? Will that person feel feel good about himself? Yeah, it's really heavy. It's really, really bad. Yeah. And you see their their expression. You know, when that hand came, you know, they, the the way they grab that hand, and they don't know what that hand means with plastic. You know, you don't even see the face, but you know you see him. But you need. You know, they grab it to, you know, wow. And tomorrow, next coming 10 years, when you get your paper and your small job and your small houses and your small whatever, what do you think about yourself? Yeah, your position. Yeah, you will think that person will save you from whatever starvation or that is threat. But uh, how will you feel? How will you feel, you know? This is really have to do with my personal experience as a black immigrant, an artist, you know. I met a guy in Spain. He had more than 40 photos in his pocket. 
and he will show you his mom photo, the f first job he has. You know, yow. Continuously, huh? Because, you know, and I asked him, hey, Ibu, these photos you show it to me at any time when we met some people, you were really showing things secretly. And I understood why. I really understood why. Because, you know, he's in this period of really proving and showing, you know, he's soliciting an acceptation to be accepted. This is a perpetual state of uh, proving themselves continuously. Yeah, it will cost them a lot of waste of time within the society, you know. So they cannot really develop themselves in terms of, you know, making better than themselves. Because at the end of the day as well, the fact they have the courage to leave their country, to think that, you know, they have to develop themselves is a big issue because it's very interesting. We have to understand also that a development being by yourself, you have to develop yourself and you can contribute to society. And this is, a, this to me, is a very passionate uh, topic and which is my tools as well as an immigrant. They have their own policy, the European institutions, the Western institutions in terms of art, they have their policy. And this according to how they define it, whatever. I don't say they are not yet open. It's beginning to be open, to, to open, you know. But the only thing they have to stop is, you know, judging a person from their point of view, you know. And judging a person, judging a culture from what you read, you know. It's, it's better to, it's to, to be with the person and melt with the person and to understand, to share. Yeah, they should, if they could really look at me as a person, yeah, who have a passion, who has a love of being, and love of beauty, making beautiful things, and yeah, a person who affirm himself. That would be quite good, I think.